Are you, like me, a fan of High West Prisoner Share? And you've been saving your pennies all year long for when they release this year's batch. Well, if you have been, I've got some bad news and some good news possibly for you coming up. I'm Captain Mike. This is Whiskey and Literature. I do whiskey and book reviews. And today it's some High West news, which may or not be news for you. In fact, I heard earlier this year when I was doing a distillery tour at High West, the guide said they were not releasing a prisoner share this year. I thought he had to be joking or just flat out wrong because despite being the highest MSRP product at $175, more even than the Midwinter Nights Dram, the prisoner share has been a hit since it first been released. People line up outside the saloon in the wintertime in Utah for when they release this bottle. Mrs. Captain and I, we really enjoyed it, and I am sorry that I didn't buy two bottles because it is confirmed there is no prisoner share coming out this year. If you're not familiar with this product, Constellation Brands, they own High West, and they own Prisoner Wine. The Prisoner Share is a blend of straight whiskeys finished in Prisoner Wine red blend barrels. So, ah. Uh, I am uh, super sad, despite the price tag, that they're not releasing this again this year. Which begs the question, what are we getting if we're not getting the prisoner share? So I'll upload for you. I was poking around the TTB website today, and here we have the label for the new bottle that's coming out to replace the prisoner share. It's gonna be called the Noble Share. And what that is, and this is not it, this is just a bottle of tequila, Constellation Brands, they own High West. They also own Casa Noble Tequila. This is a bottle of Casa Noble Tequila, the Añejo. So I went to Total Wine last night to buy a bottle of Casa Noble Tequila. Uh, they had it there on the shelf, no big deal. Picked up their Añejo and uh, brought it back. I've had a couple of small pours of it and I think it's uh, pretty good. Now, looking at the label today, I realized that this is not the exact blend that the barrels are going to be used for the uh, Noble Share. That's a higher end Casa Noble tequila. And I thought about going and buying a bottle because they have it there at my local store, but it's 160 bucks. Uh, it sounds pretty cool, but again, we don't drink a whole lot of tequila. So I didn't figure 160 bucks for that bottle just for this video. This is going to be close enough. I also, while I was at Total Wine last night, was looking around trying to find a bottle of whiskey that was finished in tequila barrels. And I couldn't find any. So they did have a scotch that's finished in tequila, but that's just different enough that I didn't, it's not, it's not even a good comparison at all. I know some distilleries have put out bourbon and rice finished in tequila, but they didn't have any last night. I was kind of looking around on the internet last night and there have been some of these releases in the past, but there are none currently at my local store. So I'm gonna poke around at the other stores around here in the Bay and maybe I'll be able to find one because I think it would be great to compare when the Noble Share is finally released. I would like to have something to compare it to. And so I need to find a couple other whiskeys that are finished in that. So if you've had any bourbon or rye finished in tequila, let us know and let me know. Maybe I'll go try and find one. Were you a fan of that or were you kind of like, eh, not really so sure about it? So I'm pretty excited about it. And I, I was thinking about the fact that we're moving away from the prisoner share and to the noble share. And I was like, why, why, why are High West doing this? It's such a big hit. And this is what I think. And this is just me thinking out loud. Constellation Brands, they own High West and they own different uh, spirit companies, and I think, again, just me guessing here, I think we're going to see prisoner share again in the future. It's just going to go through a couple different other spirits, and then they'll rotate back to the prisoner share. Possibly. No one at High West has called me to tell me that's the plan, that's a long-term plan for them, but uh, that would be, I think, uh, I think that would be pretty cool. And definitely be looking forward to that. So my question again for you is, well, first of all, are you excited about the Noble Share coming out? Or are you just super sad there's no prisoner share? 
or do you just not dabble in finished whiskeys at all? I do enjoy finished whiskeys, and when they're done right, like the Prisoner's Share, I think it really can elevate the whiskey and make it something that you really look forward to sipping. So I'm hoping that's what they do with the Noble Share as well. Now, is it gonna be called the Noble Share? That just sounds kind of weird, right? It's Casa Noble, but I think we're just gonna call it the Noble Share when it comes out. We'll see. All right, my guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, like it, it's free. Subscribe to see more of my content. Again, I do whiskey and book reviews, but for now, my friends, you know what to do. I hope you're reading something good and drinking something great and wear the damn hat. Cheers.